Alrighty guys, welcome back to my first room only challenge series. A series where I go through every single card zombies map starting from Nocturne Totem and World at War all the way to Origins and Black Ops 2 doing the first room only challenge. Staying in the spawn room, not allowed to open up any doors and just using the weapons and the perks if available that you can have in the spawn room. So, this map is obviously Varuk, the second COD Zombies map, and the second map on World at War. This map is definitely, this map is definitely interesting. A lot of people hated it whenever it first came out. This was the first map to introduce the Coca-Colas. Um, we got Quick Revive, Jug, Speed Cola, and Double Tap. First map to include those original four. Um, also have the power switch. Also, it was the first map to have the movable box locations. This map basically continued off from Nocturne Totem and gave us everything that Nocturne Totem had, plus more. A lot of people did not like this map. They said it was too difficult. It's obviously based in Asylum, so you hear like spooky noises and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, you also have a unique spawn system in this map. You, every time you restart the map, you can either spawn in here, and you got the M1 Combine, I mean M1 Grand, sorry, on the wall. You also got Quick Revive, and you also got the Swing Field. You can also open up this door, but I'm not allowed to do it in the uh, Spawn Room Only Challenge. You are allowed to open up that door, and you got a BA Aura on the wall for 1800. Or, you could spawn in this side. You got Jug. Of course, you need the power to be on for it, so you cannot get Jug right off the bat. You also got a Call 98K. You also got grenades. And you got stairs leading up to the, uh, uh, to the top. So, that's the, these two spawn rooms. And the people who spawn on this side, they do not meet the other team the other side team, and vice versa, until they get all the way and turn on the power. Then this magical, magical door in front of us opens, and they are once again united. So that's basically Varok in a nutshell. Probably, also probably one of the toughest spawn rooms to try and survive in. I think Nocturne told him I made it to round 8 on. This one, I doubt I'm going to do very good. Because this is... This is the bell side, to be honest. This side is way better than the Core98K side. But, it's also the hardest side. Or in my opinion, at least. I mean, the Core98K side is not too easy itself, but this, there's like no room to do trains. Even though in that room it's kind of difficult, but it is kind of possible if you train like behind that, um, over there where Jug is. You can kind of do a small train over there. But in here, you can't exactly do a train. It's around four already as well. So yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to survive on this map. This is probably going to be probably one of the lowest round maps that I um, do on this challenge series thingy. Just because of how difficult it is to survive in the first room of Varok. There has been some tough first rooms in the past, and this is definitely one of them. But who knows, if I make it past round 8, I'll be extremely happy and kind of surprised. Sadly, this is the World at War version, so Quick Revive does not revive you, so... You got one life here on Varrocked. This was before Solo Quick Revive became a thing. And I also like the Gravel more than the M1 Garand. I don't know why they chose to use the M1 Garand on this map. As opposed to the Gravel. Because I love my Gravel. It's round 5 already. That nuke kind of helped us. Not going to lie, it kind of helped us tremendously. So yeah, um, well thank you guys for all the support on the first video of this series doing Nocturne Totem. And some of you guys were saying that these videos are not going to be very long. But, of course these like beginner maps like Nocturne Tone Varug 
where you have like nothing in the spawn rooms to survive on, it will be, get kind of difficult to survive and the videos will not be that lengthy. But once you get to like Black Ops, you have Quick Revive, so you no longer have a YOLO chance, you have three chances, or actually four chances, before it's game over. But um, once you get to like Die Rise and stuff, you'll be able to get perks in the spawn room. And I'm already dead. Well, that did last long. I said that I was going to do one attempt and one attempt only on this. So, sadly, we only survived five rounds of Varok. Like I said, Varok is definitely one of my weakest maps to try and survive in the first room on the challenge on. But, anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Next up is Shino Numa. I'll see you guys then.